it's Crazy Van Girl Shiny. Hope you guys are having an amazing day. So today we're going to be continuing with The Last of Us, episode four. And uh, what is it called? Please hold my hand. Um, so I'm very excited for this episode because obviously we're continuing this incredibly heartbreaking and emotional story. Last episode was amazing, and of course the internet had a lot of opinions about it, and it was just interesting to see the reaction. Really, I I laughed a lot at the internet in terms of just like how people were like this is way like this is a filler episode. There's no meaning to it. There's this, there, there. I mean, if you literally are just seeing it for the surface level of what it is, then you are completely wrong. That episode definitely fit into the world of The Last of Us. Yeah, apparently people were like, it's not The Last of Us. It's not like. What do you mean? Ugh. It literally follows, like, the basis of what story we had from the game, which was the fact that Bill and Frank were a couple, and also because of the fact that this game and the themes of it is more than just killing zombies and a survival game. It's about love, grief, hurt, um, and just all those good things. <laughs> and yeah, apparently people just don't understand that. So it was really interesting to see people's opinion, especially the people who just, again, took it for surface level. But you know what? It's okay. If you don't like it, it's totally alright. But there were some people with, who would just, yeah, their opinions were just like, why, dude? Why would you post that? <laughs> but anyway, that's enough. Uh, we are going to be continuing with this episode from memory, because I haven't played the game in a long time. But I'm going up from what I remember. This is basically where we meet the hunters. Um, and I do know, um, I can't remember the actress's full name, but Melanie, she's basically the leader of the hunters. I'm pretty sure that's her name. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. And yeah, so we're going to see a lot of backstory, I think, to the Hunters. Because in the game, we just see them as like this sort of like enemy group, basically, who's going around killing people, taking advantage of them, and taking all the goods that they have to make sure that they survive. So it's interesting. Um, and I'm wondering what they're going to do in terms of like the episodes. And also, if we get to meet two particular new characters, I'm not sure if they're going to introduce them in this one, but I guess we will see. Anyway, let's jump straight into this without further ado. So remember to please like, subscribe, and comment if you enjoyed this video, but also to keep up to date with all my other reactions, more TV shows, movies, and video games. So without further ado, let's jump straight into it. Oh. <laughs> Darn. <laughs> oh, I'm so scared. Please don't pull the tree out. And she's so close to the mirror, too. Oh, God, okay. Oh, she didn't put the bullets back in. Cool. Oh, no way she did. But, oh, God. She, oh, she played Russian roulette or what? I'm so confused. Guns terrify me, guys. It doesn't matter how much you push the envelope. You'll still be stationary. What did the mermaid wear to her mascot? <laughs> An allergy bra. <laughs> allergy bra. <laughs> Joel's just like, kill me now. Feel free to wait in the truck. Uh, okay. Just know, you can't escape Bella and Sid. Oh, Bella, again, I say it every time, but Bella is perfect as Ellie. She's so good. I got something. Here, does this make you all nostalgic? <gasps> oh! <Sick>. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what's wrong with that thing! Please get rid of it. I told you, a horse is. I don't want to see what all the fuss is about. Why are all these pages stuck together? Uh, I'm just fucking with you. Bye bye, dude! Oh, I'm so happy. That's from the. God damn it. That's from the game. It's one of the <laughs> most loved scenes. I'm glad they kept it in. <laughs> what is she up to? Joe! <laughs> Oh, he stayed on watch. <laughs> oh, what the fuck is that? He is the worst. I'm sorry. I hate coffee. You know what's better, tea. <laughs> <laughs> 
pressure that we feel safe about them. Yeah, it's inconsolable. <laughs> Oh, Joel. Going for family. That's about it. Yeah. Cargo. I made a promise to Tess. She was like that. What if you don't find me? I will. How do you know? I'm persistent. She is right, though. What if he never does find him? Grab more sleep. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> oh. I see an arm. Is that the QZ? Who the fuck is Fedra? Ooh. <laughs> Put your seatbelt on. Are we gonna help him? No. Oh! Oh no. Oh no! Hey, you see that hole? You can squeeze through. And you don't come out until I say, okay? Oh God! And they're not gonna hit you. Look at me. They're not gonna hit you. Oh God! My heart. Yeah, girly. Oh, nice shooting. Oh, no, Ellie, stay there. Stay there. Oh my God. Oh my God. Shit, dude. <sighs> wait, wait, wait. You can have it. It's a good night. Ellie, don't look. Ellie, don't look. Back behind the wall. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, no, no. Please, no, please. Please. Oh, Ellie. I'm stuck against the door. Oh, Ellie. I like the way they set it up with like you can hear the voices in the background, very much like the game when you kill someone. Oh, but that scene with Ellie, oh my god. What else do you want me to say? I don't know, the truth. Oh god, melanin. A moment, a moment of appreciation for, I'm pretty sure his name's Pierce, or Jeffrey Pierce, uh, he is the original Tommy from the game, I completely forgot that he was gonna be in the show, <gasps> he looks glorious, oh yeah, no, he was, oh yeah, he was saying he grew out his hair, oh that's so good, he looks like Santa Claus, but he looks so good, oh that makes me so happy, okay anyway, sorry. What if I have a doctor? Oh, she's gonna kill him now! It's Henry's work. Understand? And he won't stop until we stop him and kill them all. Shit. 
she's terrifying. And I'm guessing her brother was also, I guess, one of the lead hunters, maybe, or something. And that Henry maybe had something to do with it? Or that she thinks that he has something to do with it. Interesting, interesting. Oh my god, this is terrifying. Thing is, I didn't hear that guy coming. Oh, yeah. Can't hear. But she knows what it means. Oh, Joel. Okay. Yeah, you really are. I'm mean, it's my fault. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Didn't think you apologized. Oh, Ellie, I want to give you a big hug. Darling. It's okay. It wasn't my first time. Over your thumb. Left hand. Squeezes down on <laughs> Aww. You put it in your pack. Shoot your damn ass off. <laughs> oh, I love the lighting on Miss his Lisa. face. Oh, I know. Joel, you're so sweet. Don't worry, you got this, both of you. Oh God. Yeah. Oh, where Henry is? Maybe. Yeah, but Sam. What? What? Fuck. Ooh. Fuck. Why would you? Mm. It's getting worse. Candle. We could deal with this after. Kathleen. After. Dude, you're trying to hide one of the biggest zombies ever. And you're like, oh yeah, let's not tell anybody about it. Girl, this is the worst decision of your life. Oh. Look at them, becoming a well-oiled machine. You to be without me, huh? <laughs> I know why I'm oh. Joel. <laughs> These two. I'm glad they're partially getting along now. It's sweet. How do you know it's an ambush? I've been on both sides. It was a long time ago we did what we needed to survive. You a test? Yeah. They're not good Keep people. Going. Some people. Come on. He did indeed. 33 floors, that's good. That's gonna happen. <laughs> <Good job. laughs> He's like, yeah, nah, I ain't moving from this spot right now. <laughs> Get up, you lazy ass. <laughs> yes. 56 years old, you little shit. <laughs> what did you mean it wasn't your first time? First question to her. You don't want to talk about it. Alright. Oh! I thought he was gonna push. It isn't fair. Your age. You wanna deal with all of this? But it gets easier when you get older. Nothing gets easy when you're older. No, not really. In any situation. <laughs> Did you know diarrhea is hereditary? What? <laughs> in your genes. <laughs> oh, look, he's laughing! It was so fucking stupid. <laughs> 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 Sadly. Ah! Oh my dude! Now it's getting high. I think it had a good mix of everything. I think it had a lot of drama. I think it had a lot of emotion. Um, a lot of sweetness, which is nice because we don't get to see that a lot in the last of the universe. Or when we do, it means that heartbreak is gonna follow soon after. 
Um, but I did really, really like a lot of the um, character development we got between um, both Ellie and Joel. But also I did like Kathleen. We got to meet her um, and also the rest of the Hunters. And also we got to meet Henry and Sam. Um, so Henry and Sam, two of my favourite characters in the Last of Us universe. Uh, I cannot wait to see more of their characters in the next episode. But let's go back a little bit, rewind a little bit and talk about Joel and Ellie. I really like how we got a lot more, again, character development with them, and especially because now we're seeing um, them start to get along and starting to learn more piece by piece about each other. Um, and just, yeah. I also like the soft approach that they've gone with Joel. They did say that he's going to be a little bit softer in the in the show, which I like. Um, I think also because of the fact that, you know, it's it's beautiful to see it, but also I think it's heartbreaking because I think he does see so much of Sarah in Ellie. Um, not only that, but I think it's also because she's so young, so that's why he keeps bringing up the fact, like, you're so young, like, you should not be in this sort of situation, you shouldn't be having to deal with this. And yeah, I just love how he's doting on her, like, especially because, like, even, <laughs> even though he's annoyed most of the time, he makes sure that, you know, he's safe, and especially at the beginning of the episode when she's like, you know, um, are we gonna be safe, like, in this forest, and da da da, and then he stays up the whole night, like, what, staying on watch to protect her, like, that's so sweet, and to make sure that she feels protected, it's just, yeah, again, so, um, I guess heartwarming to see that from a man who's so cold and, you know, I think, I feel like killing is, like, his best quality in a way now, so, like, that, like, to see such a beautiful moment from him, or beautiful moments from him is so nice to see in contrast, just to show that he really is still human, he's not just, you know, in a way, like, he's not just focused on the mission of, like, you know, gotta just get her there if she's really cargo like he actually cares about her in a way and i do like how ellie's pushing his buttons a lot he's she's just like you know oh, i'm just gonna keep putting puns on you but also she like tries to like question him a lot in terms of like whether it's his like past or just about everything in general which i like because i don't know there's something about a child's curiosity that just I don't know, in a way for me, it makes it so heartbreaking, especially in this sort of universe. And yeah, the heartbreaking thing about Joel is also, like, him not being able to hear very well. Because even in the game, I think they touch upon it a little bit, not too much though. Um, that yeah, he basically, like, had a gunshot go off near his ear and he went deaf. Um, or just, like, he can't hear very well. Um, so I do like that we do get to see this a lot more, because I feel like when Tess was around, she was basically the ears of the the two of the pair because he can't hear very well so i do like that and also because he brings up the fact that he's 56 years old and like mm, the last of us i feel like in that universe it does a lot to your body so and just still he's like gunning on he's trying to do his best and just yeah it was so heartbreaking and just again the acting between both pedro and bella in the scene where she shoots um brandon i can't remember his name but the guy who died yeah. i just love that moment as well where he's trying to like navigate how to speak to her because again again he hasn't been a father for like 20 years or yeah 20 years yeah um and so he's trying to like learn how to best approach and sort of comfort her and you know try to tackle that situation and just yeah it's i don't know there's something beautiful about that and i love those moments i, I always say it, i always love those character moments in episodes like this so really enjoyed it now going to kathleen i really I'm freaked out by her. <laughs> She's, there are a lot of characters like this in The Last of Us. We don't see her necessarily. She's not actually in the game. But we see characters like her in the game, whether it's NPCs or actual other characters. Who, yeah, who just, you know, like a very, I, I don't know, she seems very manipulative in the way that she speaks and just, oh don't like her but also it's very interesting because like you know she's like well Henry was involved with my brother's death so I'm going to question every single person who might have any knowledge and then she's going to take the necessary steps to make sure that she gets her revenge and I guess it's also that cycle of like oh, this yeah there's so many spoilers I want to give from the game but I, I'm not going to do that but just that cycle of violence it's just non-stop and the cycle of revenge it's so toxic you're never going to feel better from it even if you get the revenge that you want um so yeah I'm excited to see what else we see from her so I'm guessing we do see her next episode and yeah that's what I love and, and it reminds me so much of Andor and this is what I love about stories it may not necessarily all like 
all the characters connect, but it's more like they're connected by their situation in the world or like what's going on and whether it's a war or whether it's like an apocalypse. It's just, yeah, I love that sort of stuff. So I really like the direction the show is going and I really enjoyed this episode. I'm going to stop here, otherwise I can talk forever about this, but thank you guys so much for watching this. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give a like, subscribe, comment, and tell me your thoughts on the fourth episode of The Last of Us. Uh, please hold my hand. Also, again, I feel like we are going to see the biggest of the zombies next episode. We've seen it in the trailer. And so I'm very, 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 <laughs> very nervous um, because it's one of the worst in the game. Nobody likes them. I'm gonna leave, I'm not sure if they'll bring the name in next episode, but um, I may talk about it more then. I just don't wanna, you know, give too much away, but they are the ugliest and the worst of them all. So <laughs> I'm terrified, but it's also gonna be interesting to see how they handle that. <laughs> I'm excited. So yeah, gonna leave it here guys, but thank you guys so much for watching this and I'll see you guys in the next video. Crazy Bingo out. Woo!